Well, hello my kobolds and creatures, and welcome to episode 2 on the super incredible multiplayer server thing. Yes, we're back for an episode 2. And you'll notice in our last time lapse that we have built up on the upper world, the overworld, a little bit. We have a border now marking out where we plan to build all our stuff. Hopefully that should stop any of the other members from... You know, coming to our area and causing a mess. And the actual thought of this house up here isn't to actually live in it or use in it. It's just to look here, look here, to be here and look pretty. It's all just to get the other players to think, okay, this is my area, so of course I'm going to need a build. But Red Mines below is actually our home at the moment, and this is just to distract the players. And there is even a little experiment going on inside as I had <laughs> I had place a sign with a diamond in it and I was gonna say okay how many episodes can it last before it gets taken um yeah it, it wasn't even an episode it was like a day or two of me just being off the server and zoop, it come back and it's gone don't know who's taking it but it doesn't matter but it just proves that this overcautious style that I'm going for, fake houses, underground bases, that's going to be needed in this series. That's enough rambling, let's get to the actual meat of the episode. So today I want to plan some builds, work on the red mines, and other bits and pieces. First things first, if we're going to be working in the mines we want to do some gap filling after editing the first episode. That's like chunks of like space that block the camera so let's just quickly fill all those up so that you lot get a good better look at what's happening when I'm working down there then it's off to cover some shenanigans before we start building because we had some strange occurrences happen we walked into our base after taking a few days off and there was a tag of some kind in our base a sign so is there a game attack going on? I guess so. So I quickly ran over to somebody else's house. I've got a new neighbour behind me, by the looks of it. And so I gave them the tag. The little sign saying, tag, you're it. And because I'm such a friendly neighbour, let's give them a chest of little goodies. I've given them a couple of each of the saplings I have, some diamonds, a bit of iron, a bit of gold, something to help them get started. Then after that, I thought I'd start on the base a little bit, but I was quickly interrupted as someone you may recognise from the first episode, a loud person called VTag, showed up. They wanted my head in episode one, and you know what? They showed up, and I instantly knew that's why they were here. They wanted my head, and you know what? I wasn't in the mood to fight, and I'm in iron armour, they're in diamond armour. No way I can compete with that, so I put all my stuff away, and although there's a rule against naked killing, I'm not gonna, like, abuse that rule. So, I egged them on, <laughs> and that means a third death on the server. So, that's how it, that's shenanigans caught up with. So we'll be building in just a moment, but there's one last thing I need to do in response to the tag, and because everybody seems to want my head. At least there's a chest here, I can do this quickly. We want a helmet of diamond, we want a chest plate of diamond diamond we want some pants of diamond and what's the other thing we need boots made of diamonds that's all that and seen as though no what am I doing? that's backwards <laughs> make a backwards sword apparently you want a diamond handle and a wooden bit yeah but there we go we can all gear up now so whatever happens we'll be at least a little bit more prepared for whatever comes next so what is next? <laughs> it's time to get to work, isn't it?
What's next actually is a quick tour of Red Mines because things have changed and I don't think I recorded everything so I'm just going to quickly catch you up. So of course you come down these stairways, you come into our main foyer area and all the chests have been cleared up and there's also a little gift for anyone thinking of taking my life. A little gift for them, a gift for my life where you've got some diamonds, some gold, gold and some iron. So, you know, a bit of a bribe so that they don't kill me. <laughs> I can see someone just stealing it and taking my life anyway, but it, but it's there. <laughs> then you come into our main, like, split crossroads area. Quite like the panel palette. And it actually sums up red mines quite well. And some andesite for some good measure. Then if you come this way, as you remember, we have our little tree chopping area. It's empty at the moment. Our bed, which overlooks our little amethyst hole and our fishing spot. I still need to make a proper stairway to get to that but I might right raise it up and have it here. Who knows that's a later project. Opposite that though you have the storage room that we just worked on in that time lapse. We have lots of chests all over the place and it's a bit messy in the chests. I need to spend some time tidying all that up. I'm picking up a torch apparently. Then you go this way and you head into the mines itself. I've detailed this up a little bit, but it needs a bit more work. But again, iron mine that way, diamond mine down there, and through these doors, it's the animal pens that are gonna need sorting out at some point. The um, the walls are thicker now with the design, so I'm gonna probably have to shunt everything a little backwards. Might as well I'll grab some eggs while I am here. And that's it. That's red mines as it stands. You know what? It isn't going too bad, is it? One thing I have done in between episodes is I've set up a Twitch account. I've not streamed anything yet, but you know what? This animal room needing to get done. A few of the other rooms I want to sort out, maybe move the pond, sort, clean up this and everything. You know what? That's a perfect time to do a stream. Well, what I'm going to do then is throw all the highlights right after this. So I hope you enjoy whatever comes next. Well, it looks like Twitch doesn't archive your streams, so I've got no audio, but at least Replay was able to capture some video footage that I can use here and there. So first we decided that we were going to clean up the walkway above the pond. Of course the other players on the server could see I was streaming, so Foxley was the first to show up. Worried I'd be killed, I fled into the tree room. After talking for a bit, Foxley just wanted to have a chat and look around the place. I also realised at that point that there was actually no way up from the fish pond now that I'd been working on the walkway, so I had to help Foxley get back up. And immediately afterwards, I found arrows starting to fly at us from somewhere in the room. But we couldn't see anyone. Perry was in the area, but with an invisibility potion, neither of us could see him. But Replay can see him quite clearly. I fled into the foyer area, and Foxley was able to deal with Perry. And being as friendly as I usually am, I decided to gather up all Perry's items and throw them away in the chest for him to return. Then I was back to building, tearing down the walls of the old treehouse farm as Perry returned for his things and both him and Foxley left then leaving me to just carry on building in silence. Then I spent the rest of the time just working on the animal farm.
Once I was done, Perry showed up again and asked to just show me something. I was feeling a little cautious at that point, so I decided to place all my materials on the little chest and followed him down into the mines. One stream underway, and now we're on four deaths. But you know what? I'm still quite happy with that. We're still in the low bar of the players that are online. Well, there's nobody online. <laughs> but even when they are, I'm still in the lower ranks. Maybe in still the lowest most of the time. Now though, we still got to carry on with building up red mines. I think that's going to be the focus of the rest of the episode. But I've time lapsed quite a bit, haven't I? So let's just do these in some magical updates. Well, there we have it. We have our iron mines done and our little pond. And you know what? They don't look too bad, do they? I quite like the mines here because we're keeping the amethyst sort of blocked out here. And if you go around to the other side, if I can open this door, no, nope, if I can open the doors, and you have a little pond area, amethyst farm, and sugarcane farm all in one, which makes it quite a good and usable space. I think I can AFK here now and again and just farm some materials. That ain't too shabby. Well, we've worked on the mines quite enough for one episode, I do think. So, it is time to work on something else. And I think we should start marking out the upper town. Because I do have plans for up here. It's just getting the resources. But what I can do now is mark it out so that you as well as everyone on the server have an idea on what's going forwards. And it's not just a big empty space that I've claimed. So it's probably best if I start marking out from the bridge. And the plan is that we're going to go up this way with a road or a path of some kind. And we are going to bring it right about here. Yep, and then we're going to keep going, bringing it all the way to this dip. Where we're going to have some fighting pits of some kind. And then we head on up this way. Um, that goes in a bit more than I was expecting, so let's move that actually, Ooh. a bit of lag on that, we move that this way, ish, these alt roads aren't 100%, but we can at least like frame it out and get an idea, and I think we just cut it straight all the way to here, and that's the layout of our road sorted. Next, it's time to think about the other projects, the houses, and what not. So, of course, I think one corner of a build is going to go here, our big main build, and eventually this little fake house starter thing will get removed. So, I don't know. I don't know how big I want it. These are only estimates, but I'm guessing there. Maybe we'll convert that into something. At some point, then we pop that one there, and so that will actually go like so. And that's going to mark off like the central tower thing that I want to do. Maybe a clock tower of some kind. I do want to build a little town up here, and I just want to plan it out quickly and then wrap up the episode. So I say quickly, this is probably going to take a few minutes. So then we're going to have another house that comes off here. Um, okay, the landscape isn't what I'd sketched out. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments on the go. And see what we can do. Okay, so there's meant to be a long house back here. And you know what? Yeah, I can do that. So, connecting to there, bring it to here, bring it to there, so probably about here. I just want to mark out the corners or any long walls like that and That and I've already run out of white wool. Huh. 
I can go there. And that makes two houses marked out. Originally they were connected, but that's probably something we can stick in this in between. If I get the big buildings blocked out, I can probably do this. Um, grab a quick sleep, move on to the next houses. Oh, good cup of joe. Ah! Hmm. That was a good thing I was muted for that, I just screamed. <laughs> how do you how do you work on this thing? What's this for? I dunno. know. <laughs> okay. Put me on the spot. How do you how do I drop things? There we go. Enjoy. Okay, that, that, that was uh, an interesting segment. <laughs> I forgot to mention that um, Perry actually stopped over before in between clips just to show me his t-shirt. And, you know, wasn't vaguely threatening that someone might be trying to kill me as well. So, who knows? Um, I want a traveller's hut, but it was meant to go here. I really sort of mark this a little wrong, but who cares? Let's say we're still gonna mark it here to about here, maybe. Um, you know what? Let's change the shape I had planned. Let's turn this into an L-shaped house of some kind. Maybe that'll actually go. Expand my border a little there. Maybe we we'll bring that up to about there. I'm guessing we'll like raise this all up so it's all in line. We'll have some kind of retaining wall throughout this bit. I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I've made a big square. So let's actually pull that back a little. About there, maybe. And so that turns into that, and we take that. And we look over, and we've got an L shape kind of house. It's a weird pillar that I need to get rid of. There we go, all done and dusted. So long section here, short section poking out there. Fighting pits will be down there. So next is just to figure out the stairway and then that's the main house is really done. Clock tower, long house, some sort of hall maybe. I might actually still connect those somehow in between. That's gonna be some kind of tavern or a guest house. We need to figure out how we're gonna go down to there. You know what? The probably best way is back here. We're gonna make a stairway somewhere here. I should probably mark it out there ish. And there isn't actually a plan for this bit down here, so I'm just going to swing it all the way back around down to here, and then back around over 
here, and I've ran out, so package change over, back up to here, back up this section, I think, and we'll connect it back there. So we're getting more of a layout as we go. Um, then I think this area over here is going to be a merchant market area type thing. Again, fighting pits. Down there is going to be just access to the red mines, so maybe a port and a few buildings there. Then I'm thinking the rest of the area, all this down here, some sort of residential or slum kind of area. The poor district, the houses and whatnot. Because it's just the first level. The plan for this city is to build up. I'm only going to claim so much land, probably just what we've already got here, and not build out too further out. So we're going to keep building up from there and really make some tall walkways and things, buildings on top of buildings. That is the idea. And eventually, if we get high enough, start working on flying machines, spacecraft, well not spacecraft, more of a fantasy-esque sky vessel of some kind. That is the plan for the series going forwards. And you know what, even if this server can't support me for that long and we don't stick to it, then I will just bring this entire idea over to my solo series if it doesn't happen. So there's always a plan B if things don't work out. Well, you know what? I want advantage on the area. That is something I'm going to want. This is the clock tower, which is good enough as any to build up. So let me build up a weird little tower thingy that I can get advantage on the place, and I'll cut back to you. There we have it. A good vantage view of our claimed land. You can get a good grasp of everything now, can't you? You see the bridge behind us. Red is the guest house, white is the long house, blue is the clock tower. Behind me now is what's going to be the residential, fighting pits all down there. There is a plan. There is a plan. As long as we finish off our red mines, but we are certainly out of time for this episode. So, thanks everyone for stopping, watching and everything. Thanks to the server friends for, you know, letting me on here, having some shenanigans. Perry, Fox, everyone else who showed up in the episode, or just interact in some way, thanks for showing up, making an effort. It does mean a lot. <laughs> Even to the viewers as well, it always means a lot. All of you, blah de blah de blah. I'm rambling. Ha. Never know how to make an ending. But as I like to end an episode, my name has been Corval Queen. This has been the Simp Server, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we got a friend. Bye everyone.